Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton and I'm at Apex 2017 in San Diego and I'm joined by Kevin Walsh from Simplomatic. Hey. Kevin, great to see you. Thanks great for stopping well, by again. Um, a lot of talk about automation as there has been for, for some time and again robotics is always on the agenda. For me the challenge is, that we see in this sector is getting robots out of their cages Certainly. and in amongst the people. How's, how's that process going? There, there seems to be a lot of players entering but no clear vision of where where it's going to end up quite yet. Yeah, uh, the collaborative front is really a huge growing area for robotics, uh, especially in the electronics industry. Uh, people are really trying to get, uh, I guess, their employees closer to the automation, mm -hmm. um, and collaboratively working with robots uh, is really that solution. So I know Simplematic, we're an integrator for Fanuc, uh, KUKA, as well as Universal Robots, mm -hmm. all of which offer uh, very unique options in that collaborative arena. Uh, okay. But we're really happy to pair customers with those units to hopefully solve that uh, collaborative Room, yeah. So. Yeah. And what kind of what kind of applications do you see those um, robots being used in? In, for example, the S an SMT facility or a or a, a contract manufacturing facility. Yeah. Um, a lot in the uh, contract manufacturing, we actually see a lot of back end processes being automated because um, a lot of people do it manually right mm. now, um, doing those electronic box builds or even doing final packaging and palletizing. Yeah. Uh, we're able to come in with collaborative units and you know not necessarily replace workers, but we're able to repurpose them uh, okay. into kind of higher educated positions at the, at the company. So okay. that's uh, something we're really happy to, to prepare. Yeah, that's really interesting to do, isn't it? And two of the main trends that I saw at CES this year, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, were around artificial intelligence and augmented reality. And I'm interested in the way they're going to find their way into the manufacturing process. I talked to someone today from JBL actually about this whole idea of robots and humans collaborating and actually learning from each other and that bringing in the artificial intelligence element. Do you see much of that happening in development? I know in our company uh, we really have not really stepped into that front yet uh, but just on a personal I guess a millennial note uh, I definitely do think that augmented reality and working directly with robotics uh, mm. in almost a learning capacity is definitely the future. Um, I'm anxious to see I guess how that impacts our industry but uh, yeah. I definitely think that the, the future is very bright in terms of automation with robotics. Yeah they're always interesting social elements aren't there but it's this, uh, this whole augmented, the idea of this augmented age where rather than just telling our tools exactly what to do, we can work with them to, to achieve whatever outcome. Exactly. So. Well, I know uh, a lot of robotics that we program now have really, really great air recovery scenarios okay. um, where it's not necessarily uh, the robot knowing exactly what to do, uh, but with some advanced programming, if it does run into an error, instead of just stopping uh, and halting production, it actually is able to recover uh, naturally on its own. Okay. So that's uh, kind of a cool step in that direction. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think it is step by step incremental as we go. Definitely. Kevin, thanks for stopping yeah, by no to problem, chat. Phil. Thank Great you. to see you again.